Hi, I'd just like to go quickly through some of the new features in Moodle in the last few versions of it up to the version we now have here, uh, 2.6. Okay, uh, the first one I'd like to show you, it came in a few versions ago, is the docking of blocks. Over here on the uh, left-hand side, you'll see in this particular course, we have some blocks here. Uh, we have them on the right as well and that leaves the main part of the course a bit restricted in how much space it is. Uh, in those blocks by the way you'll notice that you have you're able to expand and contract certain sections so you can see them that's a nice little feature but we can also get rid of these blocks to give ourselves more room by using this icon here up on the top right of a block just click that and that pops out to the side there. You'll notice that when you highlight over, you can get the information back by hovering over it, and that comes on there. Now we still have another block here, so we haven't saved ourselves much space across the screen, so let's dock that block as well. Now, they, those were the only blocks I had on the left, so they're gone, we've got a bit more room here. Now, as I say, you can get them back just by hovering over them, and if you want them back on the page, just click that, and they're back again, and we'll put them up again. Okay. What's next up? Uh, drag and drop is a nice feature. Um, uh, you know the way in the past you have had to uh, to move something, you've had to click it and then it's given you options. Where do you want to move to? And you have to scroll and find the place you want to move to. Now we can just drag and drop. Turn editing on is just where it always was. So we'll just turn that on. Okay, so we can take an item here and we can just pull it up the screen and drop it there. Simple, neat, much neater than it used to be. Okay, uh, editing items on the screen. Now you'll remember that when you turned editing on you used to have a series of uh, icons to the right of any item. Now you just have one and this is just to edit the title. Okay, so it's a nice quick way of just editing the title that just shows there. Uh, Okay, so did we just change that? Well, we didn't just change it. I forgot. Uh oh, let's do that again. So I just want to get rid of that word there. Press return, and there it's fixed. Okay, uh, but where have all the other icons gone? They're actually over here under this edit. So you have you need two clicks to get them. But the one thing I will say is that they're all explained, and it can be hard to remember what they are. Okay, um, one thing I'd like to show you about this, is a new one in the last few versions, is the duplicate. Okay, that means you can take an item. So if you have an item, say a, a, a discussion forum, or, or maybe say a submission, an assignment submission that they have to put in every week. So let's take this one here, a group presentation, edit, and we'll duplicate that. And then they have to do that assignment another week. So we would take that and bring it into another week. Put it in here. Okay. Then, of course, we might want to edit it. So we might. It might be a different assignment. So. Okay. There might be other things we want to change. You edit the settings to do that. Okay. Uh, you might want to change the date. So if it's available from or when does it have to be. The due date, change the due date. Okay, give them another an extra week because it's a week later or whatever. Okay, and so on like that. We'll just cancel that. Okay, other things you can do, of course, is let's take that item we were working on there, group presentation week two, delete it. No different from before. Okay, what's up next? Okay putting new items onto a page or putting files, particularly files that you have on your computer. Well, that can be done much more easily now by just bringing up your file manager onto the screen, okay? So from your computer, get the list of files and let's take a particular, say here's a PowerPoint here. I'm gonna take that and drop it in here. You can only drop it at the bottom of a section, okay? And now it started to upload that. And you notice what it does is it's using the name of the file as what is showing on the page. Now, in this particular case, the name of that file was quite descriptive, design of an online discussion assignment. But often you've got 
very obscure names so it might be a good idea just to name that straight away now you notice by the way often when you upload something you immediately want to move it but there seems to be a little bug or design flaw in the system as far as that little cross arrows icon for moving isn't available you can get that back by the way just turn editing off turn editing on again and there it is so we can move it up we didn't like the the name the title of the file the name that was on the file we can just take that and change it as we did before okay um if there are any other features we want to add one thing i would like to show you about this is that you'll notice that some items have a little bit of text below them okay and that text below them is the description of the item you can now decide whether you want that description shown on the page or not this came out a few versions ago so we can edit this let's edit the set well no we'll do this and we'll say design of an discussion an online discussion assessment assignment let's take that edit the settings and this say this This shows you how to design an online discussion that you will be awarding grades for. Okay. Now, what you need to do, if you want that to show on the page, and that can be quite a lot, by the way, you need to tick this little box here. And we'll just save and return to course. Where is it gone now? Design of an online discussion assignment, and this is showing below here now. Okay, uh, what do we need to do next? Uh, uh, adding new items to a page. Remember at the bottom of each section you used to have add an activity, add a resource. Now it's just under one here. And this comes up here. Now one little misunderstanding that I've seen arising with several people since we got Moodle 2.6 is they want to upload a file and they go to do it like this and uh, they're looking down through this and they say oh upload a single file this must be it no that's one of the assignment types okay so that's not how you upload a file onto the page it's actually you scroll down and it's under resources file so a uh, it's it can be easy to misunderstand that so that's how you add an activity resource okay let's actually look at this add file because there's a new feature here anything where you're handling files bringing them from your machine there is the feature where you can drag and drop here so you can uh, bring that to there go look for your file manager uh, here he is here and then we can take a file and drop it in like that rather than doing the browse your machine uh, now this only works in Internet Explorer 10 I think it works in the last few versions of Chrome and Firefox but you need Internet Explorer 10 or higher to get that work so it may work not work in your version of Internet Explorer so consider getting Chrome or Firefox instead okay now you have to put a name in this file and you should probably have a description as well okay that should do the trick and we'll just save and return to course and there it is there and of course you can move it and that's pretty well it for most of the obvious uh, new features in the last few versions of Moodle up to Moodle 2.6 thanks for listening bye now